What's up, YouTube? It's the Hood Trucker Show, and I am the Hood Trucker. Today, we showcasing the mark of the week. And that mark of the week today is Philip Scott of the, uh, I think it's the Af African Disbarian Show or something like that. And he used to have the Phil Advice Show. I'm not sure what it's called now, but I put a video up on my community section where he says, you know, these dusty uh, girls, I don't know if you said black girls, but you can go check it out on my community section. Um, and he says that these dusty black girls or black women, whatever he said, are not my community, the shoplifters or whatever the case, right? Here's the thing. First, let me get into this. It says chill Felipe. <laughs> because as you can see in the thumbnail, uh, he has a non-black wife. Uh, she's his, she's his Hispanic or Latino. I don't really even, even though I'm half Mexican, I don't know what the difference between Hispanic and Latino is. But uh, she's one of the two, right? And I put Chill Felipe in on there for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, there's a diss song that was made by Mozzie. If you're from California, you may know who Mozzie is. And he was dissing a dude named Filthy Rich. Now, Filthy Rich, name, uh, real name is Philip. So he put on there, Chill Felipe, as the name of the diss song. So since we uh, dissed Philip Scott, I figured what better title than Chill Felipe. <laughs> Especially since he's married to an either Hispanic or Latino wife. Okay, so also let me say this. Philip Scott usually has, you know, some decent content. He talks about a lot of issues and his opinion on issues, a lot of these issues, we agree upon, right? But, you know, listen, when you start talking about black women and, you know, they're dusty and they're not a part of your community and that kind of thing, it kind of leads me to believe that you're somehow trying to do what Ice Cube termed a uh, black police showing out for the white cop. But in this, this case, a uh, black dude showing out for the Hispanic or the Latino wife trying to, you know, uh, somewhat uh, reassure her that, you know, these black women are not a threat to her some kind of way because you just went after them. So they call them dusty. And then you said they're not a part of your community. So, you know, if you feel like they're not a part of your community, then, you know, why are you speaking on them? And if you are speaking on them, I guess that would mean that they're a part of your community. But then you call them dusty. But here's the thing. Um, this dude doesn't look like a teenager at all. He looks like he's a man of a certain age. And so you should know by now that there's, a, there's an old saying, take the good with the bad. You have to take the good with the bad. So just because you don't want to disown these people doesn't mean that you can just say, hey, these are not my people. So they were shoplifters. Now, I don't agree with shoplifting. But, I mean, are they dusty? I mean, I know some pretty good boosters. Uh, you know, they, they you know, they're... They, they don't look dusty at all. So I don't know why you would just call them dusty, especially when these, I think they're mostly women and <laughs> you don't have a, you have a non-black wife. Okay, some time ago, a few years ago, uh, it was leaked out that he had a non-black wife, right? And he took some flack for that because, you know, it's basically like when, um, what was that movie, uh, I'm gonna get you sucker, when the guy was super militant and he had a white wife, so, which is, which was funny. So it was kind of, it's kind of funny that, you know, you talk, speak on black issues, you, 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 you call black women dusty, and yet you don't have a black woman. Um, not, you know, I, it's, it's it, it, I mean, it's, it, I'm not surprised at all that you would do that, but uh, it is kind of surprising in the sense that you try to, uh, speak about black issues and how um you know blacks should empower themselves and voting and all that kind of stuff right and especially about joe biden which and black lives matter which i agree with but i don't know why you would call black women dusty though especially when you don't have one okay he has a problem with cynthia g because cynthia, cynthia g goes hard on black men called them trash bags and everything else now the reason why i don't have a problem with cynthia g is because i don't feel like she's talking about me uh, he also posted on his community page uh, a picture of how his wife threw him a surprise birthday party. Yet, in, in all of the photos that I saw, I didn't see any photos of his wife. Now, maybe I didn't see him. I don't know. But he really didn't put 
photos of his wife on there. I could be mistaken. I didn't see any. Maybe he posted some new ones. I don't know, but I didn't see any when I when I looked. Um, so, kind of, it kind of, kind of would um, say that he's no stranger to controversy. He don't want any more because you just called black women dusty. Also, you criticized uh, uh, Umar Umar Johnson. Um, I agree with him. He taking too long with the school but you said that he doesn't have a black wife i don't know why you, that would come out your mouth because you most definitely don't have a black wife and uh when i looked at the picture of dr umar's uh wife wives he has two they didn't look non-black i mean i don't know what they are but they don't look like hispanic or anything like that they kind of look black to me okay kind of like uh Kamala Harris situation where they people are saying it's a, up for negotiation whether or not she's black or not or whatever. I don't know, my forehead is kind of shiny in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, reminiscent of the Kwame Brown situation. Okay, initially, I liked what Kwame Brown had to say, right? But upon further review, I noticed that he was a clown and, you know, he had uh, some weird takes on some positions and his political affiliations and all of that we're not gonna get into that but same type of scenario look this dude i agree with probably 80 th 80 percent of what his content is now it's when you start talking about black women um and calling them dusty and saying they're not a part of your community it kind of raises a red flag because of the fact that you don't have a black wife and then you you it's almost like you get people you draw people in by saying good stuff about the black community and what we should do and bashing black lives matter which i totally agree because you, you shouldn't take donations and then go buy mansions so i totally I, I agree with that but then to then get get draw us in and then flip the script and say hey these black women are dusty and they're not a part of our community or my community or whatever he said knowing full well you're not black, married to a black woman now that's significant because it makes it seem like you're trying to reassure the uh, the non-black wife that you have that these black women are not a threat. It's just, it's just a, a, an observation. Also, and lastly, he was defending Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp was uh, recently quoted uh, saying that you can't, he was talking about Bronnie James, LeBron, uh, LeBron James' son, he was recently quoted saying that you can't force a black man to be miserable with a black woman. And I kind of find that a little strange for him to say that because he's also not married to a black woman. I think his last few relationships have been with non-black women. Uh, he may have had some kids with a black woman. Maybe that's why he feels like being with a black woman is miserable. His words. Right. So he went and defended him and saying, leave these people alone. You, 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 you know, uh, you can't choose who you love or whatever he said. He was, it was something, it was something, something in line with that. But in the same token, OK, if you're saying to leave black men alone who don't marry or date black women, then and, and, and you should leave them alone. Then why shouldn't you leave these women alone who are doing these shoplifting? and doing things that you don't agree with, then why do you just don't leave them alone? Why you, you mention them, right? You have every right to, but then you want to tell us to say, hey, leave these black men alone who don't date black women uh, that you can't choose and you shouldn't. Uh, he, he's, he was defending Shannon Sharp who said, you can't force a black man to be miserable. So if you, you know, if you agree with that, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but Hey, we don't agree with it over here. We're holding everybody accountable once again. So I'm gonna start applying that pressure again. I'm just a little busy from time to time, you know. So I'm I'm, I'm at least gonna do these mark of the week videos every week. So stay tuned and go check that video I posted on the on the community page about this dude Phyllis Scott. And you have more uh more uh, more of a background on what I'm talking about in case you don't know anything what I just said. So with that, enjoy the rest of your day. We're gonna get back to you real. Real soon. Take care.